Okay, so uh, here we are once again at um, Tavistock Cricket Club for the second time this year, as you can see. Um, it's the 29th of May, um, and finally the sun has come out, which is uh, good to see. Um, we've had, uh, since the 1st of May, no games to speak of, has been washed out as the rain has been more or less continuous for that period of time. So, um, Tavistock Cricket Club uh, been around for a very long time. The club's in its 172nd year this year, um, and this is uh, the location uh, called Whitchurch Down, um, and a slight incline, as you'll be able to see as we go round the pitch here, um, surrounded by um, around 50 standing stones. Now, the history of these stones is such that it extends back to before there was a, um, a cricket pitch here. And what used to happen here was the standing stones were used as um, hitching posts for ponies uh, that were sold by the local monks from the local abbey here. Um, and in 1849, the uh, seventh Duke of Bedford decided that he would allow cricket to be played on this area. It was played at a place called Crowndale, which is uh, just a little bit... Um, um, south of us here, where the school is now situated. Um, so I'm just being asked to move the sight screen slightly here, which is a little bit of a problem for me because I've got one hand. So I'm going to have a go at doing that if I can, and it's reasonably heavy. Um, and I'm uh, called upon to do some work. This isn't much good, is it, really? Um, so uh, there we are. Go more, go more, go more, they're saying. Oh, there, I can stop now. There we go. So let's go and put the little bit of wood on the uh, wheel to chock it, stop it from moving around. Um, and, um, well, that's a little unusual. Not often when you're doing a piece to camera do you get called upon to do some additional work. But there we are. I shall wander across here quickly and uh, just show you that the activity on the pitch is uh, now started. The first ball is about to be bowled. Um, but uh, anyway, let's get back to the subject in hand at the moment, which was uh, the, uh, the ground is called the ring, as you can see, but uh, since 1849 they've been here. Um, and the first, we'll just turn a little around a little bit there, show you the, um, the, uh, the clubhouse. The first clubhouse was erected here in 1860. Um, it appears to me that it wasn't erected very well because history records that it blew down in 1872, so scarcely uh, 12 years hence, uh, in some gales. It was a wooden house, apparently. Um, a house of sticks, maybe we could say. Um, and um, uh, they replaced it then, and the current structure, which contains bar, changing rooms, and uh, so on and so forth, and a school box, you can see, um, has, was built in the um, uh, early part of the 20th century and has been improved subsequently. So, turning back round here now, we can see that play has started. Um, Stuart and Harry uh, are opening the, uh, the batting here. Um, Tavistock uh, elected to bat first and um, that's a super shot through extra cover for four runs there um, by Stewart absolutely wonderful so runs already that's great as I say Tavistock elected to bat and were quite quickly three wickets down for not very many runs one of their players ended up with about 80 odd runs he played extremely well in the circumstances uh, took an anchoring role in the innings which was very good for him a fellow called Will um, and they've left us a total of 169 to get in uh, 45 overs. Uh, the weather's not likely to interrupt us here, so that's all good news. It just remains for us to, uh, to get the runs, um, and I venture to suggest there's every possibility that we'll probably do that. Um, as we look around here, you can see that the, the ground is set beautifully here on Whitchurch Down. And we'll look up to the right in a minute and you'll see a little structure there which is known to the locals as the Pimple. People often walk up here. Um, it's on, on Dartmoor um, and there are plenty of ponies and sheep and so on and so forth. But there's a little promenade up the hill here. I'll give you a little quick look at that in a second. But as you can see to my right here and ahead of me there are chairs that enable people to 
look down at the, um, at the, at the pitch and to observe play as it carries on. Um, so you can't quite see the, um, the pimple here. I'll just pan around to this and just show you up the, up the, up the, uh, the promenade there. If you look very sharply, and I still can't um, uh, tell a photo on this confounded device, which is really unfortunate, to be honest with you, but about midships to the picture, it's about in the middle of the picture, up at the top, where from quite near the horizon, you might see a little white pimple sticking up. That's the top of the structure known as the pimple. So, unfortunately, I can't show you more of that, which is a pity, really. Um, and as we walk around here, um, what comes into view is the, uh, the town of Tavistock, uh, which is a very old, very traditional little Devon town here. Active, has a pannier market. They have a goose fair, I think, in April every year, which is a, a good excuse for everybody to... Um, more runs happening there, too, and probably back for the third, I would say. It's a long haul up the, up the hill there. Let's just turn around and see that ball's coming in there. So we've uh, taken another three there. So uh, we're on to seven for no wicket. So we'll just turn around back to back to Tavistock there, as you can see it over there. Uh, and uh, plenty of things to see and do around the Tavistock area. It's a beautiful countryside. Um, if you look just slightly to the right, I'll just turn around and see if we can show it to you. Slightly to the right and in the middle of the picture now, you can see the rental chapel. So that uh, sits, uh, and in the shadow of that sits Brentall Cricket Club as was. I can just about make out possibly people playing on Brentall Cricket Club at this stage. It's uh, quite hard to see, but I may be wrong. There we are, I've been wrong before. Um, so back to Tavistock. Um, and uh, the club here has a, a side in the A Division, uh, captained by David Manning, uh, who's been a, a feature of Tavistock Cricket Club these many, many years. Uh, one very fine wicket keeper he is um, and uh, the uh, second team obviously playing in the E division against uh, Chagford and other folks so as you can see we're still walking by the, uh, the, the pillars here uh, there are approximately 50 of them I haven't counted them myself but uh, in the days when uh, cricket was played first here the boundary was actually represented by these standing pillars but as cricket became more athletic through the ages it started to become quite dangerous for that to happen and um, so from that perspective the boundary was moved slightly inboard to the um, Outside leg stump there, put away uh, smartly for four, uh, no risk runs there, and uh, we move on to 11, no wicket, um, chasing 100. Oh, that's just changed 158 now, doesn't seem right. Um, so um, there we are, uh, I'm just going to find the ball as it runs away down that hill, down to your to our right here as, as we look, um, and uh, the player comes back now. Um, been retrieved and returned to square leg. Well, it's going to be a forward short leg fielder actually, he's gone under the helmet there that you can see. Um, so let's just do some quick adjustment on the panel here so that we can just see what's going on. There we go. Um, and um, so he comes in to bowl his second ball, sorry, third ball. I wouldn't make an umpire, would I? Defended, well played um, and well bowled the players getting behind their, their bowler there, encouraging him. It's a very key part of that, the psychological game as well as as well as the physical part of it. You can see it square leg in the blue shirt there, that's Rahul. 
and there we go, firmly driven to mid off uh, and no run. And that mark stands a dot, so two balls to go. the over so we can turn around and we can start to move forward here um, and uh, we can walk back towards the clubhouse here and we'll see the clubhouse from the right and you begin to hove into view with the, uh, the their nets so we've got a two lane net here that's a fixture that's been added in the last probably around about I think 10 years or so um, I would say um, and it's a fixture that gets used both by Tavistock and by um, independent coaching um, staff who come and coach youth here. Got a good youth policy here, which is great to see. Same as Chagford, really, so we share a lot of similar interests in that regard. The development of the game over the long period is really quite important here. Um, and um, we come back now towards the Stuart Monday Pavilion. Stuart Monday are worthy of... Um, Tavistock Cricket Club for more than 50 years until he sadly passed away five or six years ago. Um, had the uh, privilege of taking the pitch with him on one or two occasions and a uh, very nice guy he was. So uh, here we are then uh, after two overs and we're 15 for no wicket, 154 runs required and uh, there we have another four runs through the cover area. Um, and away hitting one of the posts there. And so we'll now sign off for another week. Thank you very much for joining us. And um, we'll talk to you again. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>